is it? Um, 7.46. <laughs> okay, what, what day is it? Actually, today is the 12th. Oh, sorry. 4 slash 12 slash 12. Today is Friday! Oh, yay! <laughs> and there it is. Chicken update. Oh, she's moved. Did you move her? No. Oh, good. I gotta change her bedding home. Yeah, yeah it's kind of gross, but you know, she's a chicken, so... So she's uh, she's made the poops. She hasn't moved too much. At least they're all in one place. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I imagine she probably hasn't drank any water. I don't think so. I'm going to um, Epsom salt bath her again. Okay. All right. Now I want to go out and get some stuff done. Then we're going to pick up Phoenix and continue our day. It's cold in here, but it is a nice day outside. Do you guys remember these phones? This is my old phone, a Galaxy S3. Well, Safeway here has a... Um, a uh, place that we can recycle these and apparently we might get money. I don't think that we're going to get something for anything or we're not going to get anything for this. It's way too old. But let's see. Here's how it works. I'll help you price and sell your device. Turn it on so I can connect to it and give you my best price. If you accept my offer, I'll confirm a few details and then get you paid. Please tap the type of device you'd like to sell. What brand is your device? Do all parts of the screen light up correctly? Are the screen and body free of cracks, chips? Let's get your phone ready for evaluation. Please remove any cases and screen protectors. Okay, now let's take a look. I'm opening my test compartment, where I'll evaluate your device. Look for the connector and dock your device onto it. I'll communicate with your device as part of my evaluation. Now, just tap close door and I'll begin evaluating your device. Don't worry, you can still get your device back if you change your mind later. And we're off. I'm currently evaluating your device to determine the model, memory size, features, and condition. I work fast, so this won't take long. Keep the toxic materials in your phone out of landfills. Help the planet by recycling your phone today. 10% of people wake up and check their phones in the middle of the night. Electronic waste contains materials. More than 90% of the materials in... Here's what I can pay you for your device. Sell it now and get cash on the spot. Awesome. Everybody wins when you help the planet and earn some money while you're at it. First, I'll check your ID to make sure you're 18 or older and to verify your identity. To finish your identity check, I need you to take a quick photo so I can make sure your ID belongs to you. Please remove any face mask, hat, or sunglasses and make sure I can see your face. When you're ready, tap the take selfie button and get ready to say cheese. By selling your phone, you help reduce electronic waste. We'll give your phone a second life. If it's no longer usable, the parts are responsible. Where should I send your receipt? I'll email it after I finish paying you. Ready to get paid? I'll take your device. All right, I'm dispensing your money now. Don't forget to take it while we finish up. <laughs> I got a whole dollar for my phone. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely funny. So on the flip side, I didn't have to drive anywhere to recycle it. It was right here. And I got a dollar for something that I would have given away for free anyway. So that's cool. A dollar is a dollar, right? Comical, it's a comical dollar. All right, spending my hard earned dollar on gas. <laughs> So, yeah, that dollar's gone now. Fridays, just like any day, are extremely unpredictable. That being said, I'm headed off to a last minute job at 3.30 in the afternoon 
It's a recheck from two days ago. I uh, informed the gentleman that he should replace both ignition coils, not just one. The spark plug wires and the spark plugs because spark plugs are over gapped, which puts an excessive load on the ignition coil and it could burn out coils. <laughs> He didn't want to do anything except just the coil, so coincidentally, I'm going back for a recheck today because it's starting to do the same thing. Go figure. So we're gonna go out and check this out. Oh, and then we're gonna come back. Oh, and the chicken, ah, I need to film it. The chicken's outside, uh, Karen, and uh, not, not better, certainly not better, but drinking, which is important, and still pooping, so that's also important. So we'll see what happens. Wow, the difference one day makes in the flowering of these cherry trees is amazing. Holy cow. Yesterday they were not blooming this this much. That's that's awesome. Being stuck behind a school bus is not awesome. <laughs> Alright, so I'm here at my recheck. And this is the coil that I replaced the other day. It had a single cylinder misfire. I had recommended uh, all four spark plugs the ignition wires and both coils just because when one coil goes out another one is sure to follow and for some reason it happens usually like after you replace one <laughs> and the spark plugs themselves are over gapped which uh, puts a larger load on the coil and it can actually burn them out so yesterday we had a cylinder two misfire this is cylinder one two three and four we had a cylinder two misfire i swapped the coils and the problem moved over here so we identified the bad coil replaced the coil everything was fine today we have a cylinder three misfire which still comes from this coil because this coil controls cylinder two and cylinder three this coil controls cylinder four and cylinder one so there's your lesson in automotive replace everything at the same time because we have a pending code for cylinder three right there all right so we started up ground that I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but you hear that tick, 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 tick every time the cylinder misfires. Now watch this. I've, all, I've pierced the boot right here, but I did it on purpose because I know that this spark plug wire right here is bad. Look at that. It's jumping so far. That means that it has excessive resistance. So this right here is the culprit this time. So he still needs to do everything. Closure. I have to make sure to film closure. So the customer opted to get the parts that I had recommended the other day. I'm installing them now and then I'll show you guys that everything will be A-OK -okay, peachy keen. And at the end of the day, we're all done. New coils, plugs, and wires just way. It should be smooth idle. My work is done here. And yes, I expressed interest in getting this. I worked on this vehicle a long time ago. I can't remember what was wrong with it, but uh, it's just been sitting here for like the last year and a half. So I told them if they want to get rid of it to let me know. Anyway, there we go. Car is done. The recheck is done. I'm headed home. A little bit of paperwork and a lot of weekend. And I was cheesy, but it's true. Hey, Chick Chick. So, Right, chicken in the house. Hold on, turn the light on. Thanks, guys. You just turned the light on. I got a chicken in my hands. Yes, you do. <laughs> All right. Good girl. So she's walking a little more. She's eaten a little bit. She's drank a little bit today. Cider. Wow, she's actually moving now. Last Apple, night she was like cider. in a corner for a while. Alright. Food. Water. Please don't spill your water. What? <laughs> <laughs> and no, you can't. Chicken is not on the menu tonight. Sorry. <laughs> For us, really? Not or, this one. Oh, <laughs> but we are having chicken? Yeah, don't let her know. <laughs> she might freak out. Go lay down on your bed, please. 
We don't trust you. I love you, but we don't trust you. <laughs> the look she's giving me right now is like, what? Hello there, this is Halloween Fur from West Valley City, Utah. You've been watching Beyond 1031. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a nice day.